Sorry about that. Uh, no problem. Chapo asks, do states get their power by conquest? If so, why is that okay? Well, most states have gotten their power through conquest. And, you know, it's not okay. It's just the way it's happened, right? Uh, you know, the fact is that in almost all of human history, the way to resolve disputes has been through force. I would say that the one exception to that, at least at least in its founding, was uh, the United States of America. So this country was founded not through conquest, but through revolution, but revolution based on a moral ideal, a revolution based on the idea of individual liberty, of freedom, of limiting state power. Now, granted, the founders were obviously inconsistent, and, and the project was an inconsistent project, and a lot of bad stuff was done, slavery, for example, post the founding of America, and even some conquest was done post the founding of America. But essentially, America was founded as a country um, based on an idea, not based on, uh, on conquest of land. Uh, there are probably other countries, states, that were founded in similar ways, but only because at some point in history, empires, which were established through conquest, broke up and broke up into smaller countries. And those countries were created not as a consequence of, of, of conquest, but just as a consequence of uh, uh, you know, luck, culture, geography, uh, and so on. I mean, who exactly did the Swiss conquer Switzerland from? I mean, at some point that land was, was occupied by the Roman Empire. At some point the Roman Empire disintegrated. At some point the various tribes that were in Switzerland united under some kind of federation and created Switzerland. It's not exactly conquered land. So it's true that many countries are a consequence of one, one people conquering another people. But that's been, um, that's been kind of uh, the history of, of, of the human race, conquest and violence. And, and the great achievement, I think, of liberalism uh, post-enlightenment, uh, liberalism in the classic sense, liberalism in the original sense, is uh, that we don't use wars and we don't use um, conquest as the criteria for really anything. And indeed, we view conquest and we do violence negatively, not positively. I mean, if you're interested in kind of political questions, there's a great book that came out about a year ago, maybe two years ago, called The Textbook of Americanism, which is about America uh, and its founding and the principles behind what America stands for and why it's unique in history, uh, with an essay, a lead essay by Ayn Rand that was never published anywhere else. Um, and a bunch of essays by the people, including myself. It's called A Textbook of Americanism. It was, it was edited by Jonathan Honing. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show 
at your own book show.com slash support or on Patreon or subscribe star or locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for all for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.